a guerrilla fighter and revolutionary loved and feared by Cubans, Castro, forever in his fatigues, was a proud, iron-fisted, iconic survivor, not to mention a throwback to another age. Back then, Castro told CBC News, I have no reason to forbid any kind of opinion. Free opinion is a principle of democracy. Remembered as a leader who shaped and defined this country for decades, even if in death, the change he resisted might finally come. This job is so uh, fascinating and so new that you don't really look at it as a job, you look at it as, a, as an opportunity. And you Godspeed, John Glenn. You simply don't get to be 93 without a reserve of resilience. And Shimon Perez had so much of it that when he was hit with a massive stroke a few weeks ago, there were Israelis who just couldn't imagine it was over. Concessions are not so glorious as victories. And yet, without compromises, you cannot have peace. Actress, activist, first lady, and quiet advisor to the president, Nancy Reagan always made it clear her preferred role was devoted wife of Ronald Reagan from practically the moment they met. Nancy Reagan got credit for drawing attention to America's drug epidemic in the 80s. It was she who coined the term, just say no. Say yes to your life. And when it comes to drugs and alcohol, just say no. Like the kid in his movie, Purple Rain, Prince was a prodigy, a Minnesota soul to the end. Both parents, musicians. No As a teenager, he became the youngest record producer in the history of Warner Brothers Records. And then for his first five albums, he played every single instrument. We don't let our hair grow long and shaggy. George Martin was rarely seen with the Beatles, but he sure was heard, crafting their sound on all but one album. He once told the CBC how he did it. I think the essence of, of a good director or a good record producer is to get inside the mind of the person and try and find out what they're looking for themselves. My future is my past. This memory will last. I live to love. I was trying to make these individual people be heard in the way they wanted to be heard. They said there'll be snow at Christmas. They said there'll be peace. The Eagles had achieved a success that is only bestowed upon four or five acts every decade. And we were fortunate enough to, you know, have that happen to us. a self-made man who broke onto the music scene in the 1960s. First as a singer and then as a manager, transforming Dion from pre-teen prodigy into a household name. I was so moved, so touched, at the end I was crying.
What would you like people to think about you when you've gone? I'd like for them to say he took a few cups of love. He took one tablespoon of patience, one tablespoon teaspoon of generosity, one pint of kindness. He took one quart of laughter, one pinch of concern, and then he mixed willingness with happiness. He added lots of faith and he stirred it up well. Then he spread it over a span of a lifetime and he served it to each and every deserving person he met. Muhammad Ali, thank you very much. He was called Mr. Hockey for a reason. In a career that spanned decades, Gordie Howe broke nearly every record in the book. Seasons played, points, assists, goals. Here's Gordie Howe going in to the Well, I always say, show me a record that can be eaten and then I'll be real mad if somebody takes it away from me. Races like this would define Lovell. He would often leave his competition in the dust, winning more than 35 medals and competing at three Olympic Games. His next strikeout will be the 500th of his career. A force on the field, a two-time All-Star. At 24 years old, Miami Marlins pitcher Jose Fernandez was one of Major League Baseball's best pitchers. He will go down, of course, in history as not having lived to his potential in baseball, and it's a truly sad day. Tell presents fantastic, a great new album. The ads were unmistakable. The products? Introducing KTEL's Hair Magician. Things most people never even imagined they'd need or even want. The handle of these nine. That was Phil Kivas. Fast talking, always selling, the founder of KTEL. I honestly believe that if you're ambitious, and if you've got willpower, and you think positive, and I've said this so many times, that you can accomplish impossible things in life. Franklin came to Canada from Germany in 1949 after surviving the Holocaust. In the 1960s, she became the first female engineering professor at U of T. Her biggest scientific contribution was discovering radioactive substances in Canadian children's baby teeth. I was most interested, both personally and as a professional, to do the very best I could to contribute to peace. Still don't know what I was waiting for And my time was running wild A million dead end streets and I had to be very exaggerated in the beginning to um, defy people to put me into a category so that that would leave me room to work in. Then I wanted to present something that would really set people on the edge of their seats in terms of something they would either adore or really didn't like at all. I'm afraid of America. I'm afraid of the world. I've always loved the new thing. My whole life has been like that. Ever since I was a kid, I've always loved the new thing. I've just lived my life like that, that's all.
The most popular of his baseball novels, Shoeless Joe, inspired the movie Field of Dreams. Ray. As a matter of fact, it's Terrence Mann. It was seen as a quintessentially American story. Americans, when they read something that they like, they say, by golly, I like that. Let's, uh, let's write to this fellow and tell him I liked it. Uh, Canadians, if they read something and they like it, they say, gee, I like that. There must be something wrong with it. I was much more shaken and crushed by the desertion of God than by the desertion of man. My name is Annie. Annie Purugu was born into a family of artists in Cape Dorset, a place with an already rich artistic tradition. But in her ink and crayon drawings, she pushed the boundaries of what Canada and the world expected from Inuit art. Far from quaint pictures of nature, they portrayed the realities of modern Inuit life. Our life is going up and down, up and down. Like happy, hap not happy, happy, not happy. That's what I drew like, like that. I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? I feel free when I'm singing. Do you make up your own songs? Hmm. I uh, always thought of myself as a singer and uh, kind of got sidetracked into literature. But instead of me being able to do anything particularly well, I did a bunch of things that were fun and I did them okay. And it gave me a, a great variety and a chance to ba basically do something different every day. Did I uh, use my own spells against me? I'm the half-blood prince. My name is Napoleon Soto. I'm enforcement agent in Section 2 here. In my life and time, I've sung a lot of songs. I made some bad rhymes. I racked it down my life and stayed out with 10,000 people watching. Whoa, but we're gone now, and I'm singing this song to you. No, your image of me is what I hope to be. I treated you unkindly. I know that it's not fair to make fun of somebody's name, but good heavens. Osman became a sensation here and in the U.S. after the former Late Show host had him on his show in 1995. He became a regular part of Leatherman's shtick, and years later... It's really something to go on the show to meet Dave Letterman. Gold on tap. Here's the star of the show, Gordy Tap. Tonight, it's been called Canada's Saturday Night Live. 
and he's been called Canada's original stand-up comic. Dave Broadfoot was already a star when he joined CBC's Air Force in 1973. But this is where, over the decades, he became a national treasure. Good boy. Canadian boy. Thank you. For a time, Rob Ford was arguably Canada's most famous politician. Not for his polarizing policies, utter contempt for opponents, or even his way of putting things. Those Oriental people work like dogs. But for the drug and alcohol scandals that threw the city government into turmoil and shocked the entire world. Yes, I have smoked a crack cocaine. But no, do I? Am I an addict? No. and proudest mayor there is in the whole of Canada. Elsie Wayne was never shy, launching her political career fighting City Hall from her home in a working class neighborhood frequently hit by flooding. Elsie Wayne's improbable arrival in Ottawa in 1993 put her on a new stage. She dove right in for what would be a decade in national politics, fighting for, among other things, pensions for World War II veterans of the Merchant Marine. Belanger felt that saying true patriot love in all thy sons command leaves out half the population. That inspired his first bid to change the anthem to a gender equal in all of us command. Every side of this house feels his loss today and we will all miss his intelligence, honesty, thoughtfulness and the kindness he brought to his work. His was a tireless curiosity fueled by enthusiasm. What is wrong with the man? <laughs> well, where else can you, you know, travel the world in somebody else's uh, wallet? It's a thrilling ride, I must say. The CBC National News with Stanley Burke. There were no glitzy computer animated graphics, no fast paced video clips. Just one man reading the day's news off his script. Make an appeal to Canadians to dramatize the dangers of inflation. It's a war in which prisoners on both sides are tortured and killed for the information they can provide. And that's the news for Saturday, December 15th. For the National, George McClyde. Good night.